this video, I will be going over how to use a range survey poll for the DMT or Digital Measurement Technology process. In OCALC Pro version 5.03, additional options were made available for the DMT tool. In previous versions of OCALC Pro, only a CVT or a calibrated visual target could be used for this process. Now, range survey polls can also be used. So here we have a fairly complicated poll that corresponds to this picture that was taken out in the field. Now traditionally with a CVT, it would be a white 13.1 feet tall stick with four red reflective targets. However, this picture was taken with a range survey pole. The range survey poles are typically incremented in yellow to red sections, each being one foot long. So this is actually a 12 foot range survey pole. The first thing that has to be done before we can go ahead and calibrate this image is we have to change our target type. So the default target type is shown up here in the left. So this is set to a CVT or a white 13 foot stick, which used to be the standard. So the first thing we have to do is change our target type. This can be done by going under image down to either setting a new default or changing the current image's target type, which is the option I'm going to use. This opens up a window where all the new available targets are listed. So here you have all of your calibrated reflectors, including the white 13 foot stick. And now there's a section for range poles. So the range poles come in a number of different sizes and units. So here you have a list of all the different options in feet, followed by meters. So we want the 12 foot range survey pole. Once selected, you'll see your whole image refreshes, and it now displays the chosen target type up here in the upper left-hand corner. Once the new target type has been selected, the calibration process is fairly similar to the process outlined in the video showing the 13-foot white CVT. So just like in that process, the calibrate button is over here and it's highlighted and your cursor is a little box over in this measure tab. So I can zoom into my image using my scroll wheel on my mouse. And with the range pole, you ideally want to line up the middle line in your box with where the colors change on the stick. So rather than having a red reflective target to use, you're going to use all the areas where the color changes. So my first click is going to be right here. So I'm going to do one left click. And I'm going to repeat this process all the way up the pole. In the white 13 foot CVT process, there are only four clicks. With the range pole, you're going to click everywhere the color changes. So it's really important that you go ahead and select the correct target type from that list. You don't want to have too many or too few targets. So I'm going to click my way all the way up all of these sections. Now if any of them is obscured by an object, you are still able to skip a target by holding down the shift key and clicking approximately where you think the, the section would be. So if this was obscured and I could approximate where it is, I could do a shift click and it will essentially skip that target. So once you get to the very top, you click at the top of the stick. And you'll see that Calibrate becomes grayed out and it immediately switches down into the Height tool. So once it switches down into the Height tool, the process is identical to the old process. So I can go ahead and take various height measurements from this image. I can pan up to the top of my pole, which in this case, in this image is obscured. So I can use something else, say where this cross arm is and I can mark the height of that cross arm. I can add a label. And just like with the functionality in the previous version of the tool, I can select an object and move it. So for instance, if I wanted to move this bottom com bundle over here in my 3D view, I can select that insulator and then in my image, see where that is in the photo. And I have the option to move that object. So now in my 3D view, the object has moved into the right spot. If you are switching back to an image with the regular 13 foot CVT, all you have to do is go under image to change your default back or go back to change current images target type, where you can go back to the white 13 foot CVT, hit select, 
and it will erase the calibrations that were done under the range pole setting. Please keep an eye out for additional videos that will be coming outlining other methods that can be used with the measure tool.